Hello. So I am running out of videos to edit and then post. Not really. I'm running out of easy videos to edit and then post. And that is concerning. So here's the situation. I get off school in about a month on May 28th, I believe, is my last day of school. Before that, I have exams and finals and papers and things within the next month where it's just, it's gonna suck, okay? Because I'm obviously an optimist and I know how great it is to take exams. So I'm just telling you right now, it's just gonna suck because I like to look at the bright side of things. So, that, that, I'll, I'll have April 28th, and then it'll be the weekend, and then I have a week where I can, uh, you know, sleep. So, I'll be sleeping that week. Also, I think on June 7th, I want to say, which I want to say is a Saturday, maybe, I'm not sure, it, I have to take the ACT. So, I'll be studying that week for the ACT because I, I'm just fun that way and I wanted to be like, hey, why don't I take more tests after school ends? And then, to add to that, June 7th is also the day that I start an English college class because I wanted to take it over the summer because I wanted to write five pages, five, six, four, I don't, I don't remember, I think five papers for the class that are all like five pages long or something. So I'm just fun, what can I say? So today, we're gonna jump back to February 2nd, even though there's a whole lot that happened between wherever I left off, like December or something. And uh, this was the day that I frantically moved turtles around in different tanks to see if it would work in the hierarchy of turtles and you're gonna see how that turned out. <laughs> but the situation is that that week after I, I'm going to sleep and I'm going to edit all of these videos because these are things I want to do but I can't do because I'm always tired and I have all these tests and quizzes and all this stuff to study for and do. And I mean, I can study for the ACT and edit all these videos. So that'll be a week of editing so then I can forget about, forget about it for like a month uh, as, you know, I get into summer and as I settle in, then I'll keep editing and I'll film more stuff and more stuff's going on. Because from my understanding, I have a bunch of videos to release, but they're not edited or put down anywhere. I mean, I've filmed a ton, so we'll see how all that turns out. But... This is the easiest video I saw to edit, so that's what you're getting. Enjoy. Okay, so in this wild room of reptiles, there are a lot of turtles, and as I have explained in the past, there's like a, a social heart hierarchy of the reptiles, of the turtles, that is, because turtles can be kept together. In general, they're considered like community pets, like they can be cohabitated. And while that's true, different turtles react differently to other turtles and they might even not react the same to all turtles. So in the case here, we have Lewis, who is generally friendly with everybody. He, he'll bite the other turtles occasionally, but in general, he's pretty much fine with everybody. Then we have Phoebe. She reacts very badly towards other females, specifically, uh, which is a problem. Also, she rock, she eats rocks, apparently. So anyway, I'm trying out something new here, and I don't know how it's going to work, but essentially, Susan should be fine with the small red eared slider and the two Oshita map turtles, or Washita map turtles. And if Phoebe is fine with this tank, which I'm starting to think she isn't, because I forgot if she ate gravel or not.
because generally large turtles like Susan will eat gravel, so she can't be in this tank. Also, she's massive, bigger than Phoebe Ian, even, so she doesn't really work in this tank either. Plus, she's very aggressive towards fish. It looks like Phoebe's actually pretty similar in all those categories, so we'll see how she does. But right now, I have the this very dirty tank, which is just, they just stirred it up a bunch. Uh, but I'll be doing, you know, water changes and everything pretty soon, probably this weekend, if I have the chance. And essentially, if I can put the Washita Map Turtles, the Redded Slider, and Susan together, then I could move those four into this tank, remove the divider, and then they can have full reign of this tank. Then Norman could move to his own tank, and then these two could live up here. And that would work with everybody's systems and requirements and everything, and I think that that would be good and better because then I wouldn't have to have a divider, and everybody would either be getting an upgrade or staying in the same amount of space, so overall good things, right? And I think that's a good idea, but right now I'm not entirely worried about Susan and the Red-Eared Slider. Those were my main worries. I knew Susan did fine with the Washita Map Turtle females, but she was kind of eyeing the Red-Eared Slider, but I don't think she'll bite it because if, if one of these adult females bites the the smaller Red-Eared Slider, then like it could lose a limb easily. They're, they have massive jaws and massive heads, so... I put the red eared slider in with Phoebe because I wasn't sure how she'd react to it. She bit it, so that's not good. But she seems to only do well with Lewis here. But even with Lewis, she's kind of iffy. So if she does do well with this size gravel and these fish, then I will leave her in here. And then I'll move those guys over and, and remove the divider and move everybody around because I feel like that's going to be the best for everybody. My main concern right now, like I said, is with Phoebe. Everybody else is kind of like, I think it'll be fine. But with Phoebe, the concern is she might eat gravel. She generally likes to jump out of the tank. And if she jumps out of the tank at this height, it's a lot different than if she jumps out of that tank, which she does pretty consistently. So I have to make sure to move her to the ground whenever she wants out. And also, I'm just kind of worried about her wrecking up, you know, my fish and stuff. So... I'm fine if she eats the rosy red minnows. Those are kind of in there for them to eat, but not really. They're just kind of there. But I have a ton of them, and I wouldn't care. But I also have albino koi cats in here that all the other turtles do all right with. But she she could take them in a bite, and I don't want her to eat my albino koi cats. So I'll just watch her today, and I'll leave these guys in here just because I need to put them somewhere, and... If I leave them in here, I'll kind of know if they go after each other. But they seem to be fine. But I can watch Phoebe from my desk here. So this is all kind of experiment. And I just kind of have to watch them and see what happens. But overall, I think it would be nice to have her in here. Because that would give her more space. And then it would give Susan more space. And it would give Norman more space. Because Norman would be moving into a 75-gallon. She would be moving into a full... 125 gallon and Susan would be moving up to 125 gallon as well so like I said overall things would be getting better as long as things do work and then obviously they'll be moving outside for the summer and what I'm thinking is this group of turtles will probably go out to the front pond just because that gives them a lot of land space and place to lay eggs because I believe all four of those are females, actually. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm thinking that little red slider is a female. So it's not even, it's maybe a year old, maybe. So, well, actually, it's probably right around a year old. So it's not going to be laying eggs anytime soon. But the other females might, and I know, I know Phoebe would lay eggs, but if I have just moved her out there, then I can only move Le <laughs> Lewis and then... It, they're just, I don't know, I feel like that'd be a waste of space, especially with all that climbing space they'll have and all that basking area. So I'll probably move these two and Norman into the back pond, and I'll just divide the pond into two so then they can both have nice big areas, and then I can have essentially 
three groups of turtles. And then hopefully I'll be able to get ponds going. And then at that point, then I will be able to keep some of the turtles outside all year round. But with uh, when it comes to Susan, she's the only one that I have to bring in. Like she, like in theory, I could keep all the other turtles out year round because they're either native or in the case with Lewis, he his range goes higher up than here even. But he's just not from this part of the this part of North America. He's from a different part of North America, but he could definitely withstand the Ohio winter here. So we'll see how things go. I can't keep him out in the front pond because the water's just way too cold to get like 20 degrees. So I need to dig a much bigger pond and make a much bigger pond that goes like below three feet. And then these guys have the opportunity to hide or roommate throughout the winter. So hopefully I'll be able to do that this summer. The short of the results from this like move around is that it just did not work. Uh, Phoebe was the main concern because she would jump out, she was going to eat the gravel, she would have eaten the minnows and my quarry catfish, and she just wasn't going to work in there. If she would have worked in there, I believe everything else would have worked out just fine, but because she didn't, the whole system broke and I couldn't move everybody around like I wanted to, but that's all right. That was a, it was a while ago at this point. And then the plan is that where my garden is slash was, because it's kind of just been a compost pile for a year or two or three, is where a big pond will be dug and then it'll be a big liner pot, pond that is at least like uh, four or five feet deep or something like that. And then I will be building that this summer and the turtles will go out into there and then I can keep at least like Lewis and Marcus and the Washita map turtles and maybe one of the other red sliders out there all year round. And then also like the little red slider as it grows up that can go out there. And then I have Susan and I plan on trying really hard to rehome Susan. And then I'll just have the four red sliders, uh, Lewis, and the two Oshita map turtles, and then that'll be it. And then in that case, then I would just have to divide up Phoebe and Norman in the 300 gallon during the summer, and then I could bring them in and they could each have their own 125 gallon if I found Susan a good home, which is going to be hard, but I think I can do it. So then the 125 gallon, or not the 125, the 300 gallon as of right now will be divided between Norman, Phoebe, and Susan. All the other ones are then going to go out to the front pond. And then, you know, as I get this other pond set up, I'll probably move stuff over and whatnot. And then the baby is just going to be set up in a tub with some fish that I have. So. That is the plan for everybody as far as turtles go and as far as moving things out. And there's other things they'll be moving out that aren't turtles, but overall everything <laughs> will be good. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and those are the, the plans for the summer. That's what I'll be doing. This is why the videos haven't been coming out like they should. I can't even keep my eyes open. I'm going to go ahead and end this. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like down below. If you have any comments or concerns, I'm, I'm the one you direct those to through the comments down below. And I will get to them at some point. Have a fantastic day. And get the proper amount of sleep. Because sleep is very important. And I realize this. But school does not support the theory that, that sleep is very important, and I can't control that. So, have a great day.